What if an operating system was so fast, so smooth, and so far ahead of its time, that it actually died because of it? Meet BOS. In the mid-1990s, Windows and Mac OS were still catching up. It'd be Inc. released BOS. It was built new for handling media. It could play video, audio, and graphics like nothing else. It was super fast, even on older computers. It felt amazing to use. Many said it was the future of computing. So why don't you have BOS on your computer today? One big reason, market share. BOS was a small player against giants like Microsoft and Apple. It couldn't get enough computer makers to put it on their machines. Without many computers having it, it was hard for people to even try it. Apple even thought about buying BOS to replace their old Mac OS, but the deal didn't happen. Apple bought Next instead, bringing Steve Jobs back. This was a huge missed chance for BOS. It couldn't grow big enough or get enough software made for it. BOS was truly special. Maybe too good for the harsh world of tech business. Story's a cool part of OS history. It's a great example of forgotten software. A reminder that just being new and good isn't always enough to make it.